What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the menu to change the color of your app for PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to add a menu and we're going to add some colors here. So we can, you can see, change this around to different things. This is just a silly little app, but it's going to show us how to use menus. I've showed you how to create menus in the past, but I haven't actually showed you how to do something when you actually click on a thing. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. And changing the color of your app is a silly thing. Once you learn how to make these menu items do something, you can make them do anything you want. It doesn't have to just be changing the color, but that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic PyQt5 starter code, and I'm calling it colors.py. And there's nothing at all in here so far. So first, let's go ahead and head over to the designer and make a very simple, basic GUI that we can use. So head over to your terminal. I'm in my PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. And let's open the designer. So here we go. We want a main window, so let's create that. And I'm just going to resize this thing. We don't need it that big. And let's come up here to the menu. Now, to create a menu, we don't have to actually drag and drop any widgets. There's already one up here by default. You can click on it and just start typing. I double clicked it and we can type anything we want. So let's say colors, right? And when we hit enter, this little thing pops up and you can add sub menu items underneath it. So let's say we want black, I hit enter, it pops down again. We want white, we want red, we want blue, green, yellow, whatever you want. Just add a bunch of them here and that's all there is to it. So Okay, that looks good. Let's just go ahead and save this. That's all we need here. So let's go file save as, and I want to be in my PyQt5 directory, and let's call this colors.ui. Okay, head back over to our code, and let's go ahead and open that guy up. So file open, and here we go, colors.ui, and here is our UI file. Now normally we would go through this file and find all of the widgets and then add them to our app, but we don't have any widgets here. So you know, normally right here, we would add widgets, but instead let's add menu triggers and triggers are what you use to deal with menu items. So if we come over here and look through here, we can see we have these actions, action, black, action, white, action, red, blue, green, and yellow. And those are our actual menu items. So if we head over to our terminal real quick and we just run Python colors.py, we see we get our app here. We've got this menu and these things drop down. When we click on them, nothing actually happens, but they're there and everything seems to be working. So what we can do is grab each of these guys, action black, action white, action red, etc., and then add them to our colors.py file. So what we want here is self dot, whatever the action is, and then we wanna call dot triggered and then dot connect, and then we wanna pass something in. What we wanna pass, we'll figure out in a minute. So We've got black, white, red, blue, green, and yellow. So we could just come through here and change each of these like this if we want. Or, you know, if you know they're blue, green, and yellow, you could just sort of type them in. I think that's right. Black, white, red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, black, white, red, blue, green, and yellow. Now, normally we could just call a function like we always would. I would call like self.black. This would run the black function that changed the color to black, right? But these are all gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna create one function, self.change. And we also want to pass in a color, right? So this one will be black. Now we can't self.change and pass in a color unless we do a lambda. So let's go ahead and do that. So lambda, we've done this before. And note, this is a lowercase l. It's not a capital L, it kind of looks like one but it's not, and there we go. So let me just copy this and paste it into each of these. And this one will be white, this one will be red, this one will be blue, and this one will be green, and you'll never guess, but this one will be yellow. Okay, so that's all we have to do. This will trigger something when we click any of those menu items, right? So we're triggering, we're connecting, we're running a lambda, passing in a color to this change function. So now all we have to do is create this change function. Super easy. Come down here outside of this function. Let's define change. We, also, we always want to pass in self 
And we also want to pass in that other thing, right? This thing, right? Whatever this is. And I'm going to call that color because, hey, it's a color. That makes sense. So how do we change the color of an app? I'm not sure if we talked about this. We've talked about changing colors of things a little bit using a style sheet. And that's what we're going to do here. So let's go self dot set style sheet. And then here we can just pass in anything we want. So normally you would go background dash color and then, you know, blue or something. Right. But we want to pass in this color variable. So instead of passing in a color there, I'm going to make this whole thing into an F string and I'm going to add curly brackets here and then just pass in color. So that should do the trick. And really, that's kind of all there is to it. So if we save this, come back over here and run this guy. We can click on one of these. Now when we click black, boom, it changes to black, white, red, blue, green, and yellow. And that's all there is to it. So if we wanted to, we could play around with this. We could maybe, what, change the title. And here, let's say change BG color. Whatever. So here we could do something like self dot set window title. And let's make this an F string. And let's say you change the color to then pass in color. I don't know, just goofing around here. But anything you want to do, whenever you click on any of these things, you would put in that function. So red up here says you change the color to red, right? You change the color to white, <laughs> whatever you want just that easy. All you have to do is put whatever you want to do in this function. And we did just one function here called change, right? You could create a different function for every single one of these things. And you normally probably would think of a regular menu bar like up here. You see, we click on file, new file, open file, open folder. Each of these things would realistically have its own function being called, right? But in this example, it was just easier to make one and it kind of worked with this silly example. So that's what we did. So that's how you create menu items and do something when you actually click on them. And it's also how you change the background color and change the title of your app. I know, silly example, but it allows us to show how to use these trigger dot connect things. And we've done sort of things like this with button clicks and things in the past, uh, but very easy and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com and I'll see you in the next video.